oh my gosh hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine i know it's been a second um since i've uploaded here we talk about all self-improvement just i want to be that encourager for you um just with life whatever you're going through i am your life coach i am your your digital life coach i am here for you we talk about all things like i said personal development self-growth we are here to just level up in all aspects of our lives guys i'm excited it's been a second we're gonna talk about women romanticizing 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 your life <laughs> today we're gonna talk about romanticizing your life so let's get right into it okay guys to me that literally just means just getting up excited to, to be alive right and it's just like we always have this long to-do list we have all these long checklists that we need to check out by the end of the day or the end of the week and immediately when we wake up we're overwhelmed and we want to get back into bed so I am here to say, when you get up, don't don't go straight to your email. Don't go straight to your to-do list trying to see what it is that you have to accomplish for today. Let's just start off with first, you're in the bed, your alarm goes off, you thanking God for waking you up. It was many people who did not wake up, right? Thank God. Thank, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Please keep your angels surrounded by me all throughout the day. Please protect my family throughout the day while they're gone. Jesus' name, amen. Some quick, something simple, acknowledging him. Then you wake up. Then we get, we get up. You go do your routine, your morning routine. But still do not look at your, don't try not to look at your phone. Try not to look at your to-do list. Get into your devotional, right? Get into your journaling. Get into just some meditating. Get into something that's just going to put you in a good headspace. I've noticed if I get up and I automatically see my computer and I see my long calendar to-do list, I'm like, mm, it's going to be a long day. And I'm already messed up in the head. I'm already messed up in the head. So I've learned to not do that. Not to open up any of my emails, not to just not, especially on a Monday, <laughs> especially on a Monday when emails have been piled up from work. So I try to not look at that at all. So, you know, like, like I said in my last video, you know, what I tend to do is just, I get up pretty early. I get up um, earlier than my family does. And I take that as my me time, you know, me journaling, me meditating, me going to the gym, Whatever's going to put me in a headspace just to get me up and going for my day, right? So, and I and I had to start to really, I was starting to get really overwhelmed with the, you know, just the day, my just, my, the day-to-day -day actions of work and working from home and uh, me and starting a business and all this other stuff. It just, I was just getting so overwhelmed. I'm like, when do I have enough time just to chill, <laughs> right? And I had to think about it, like, I am the one putting all these pressures and putting all these things on my to-do list. I'm in control of that. So it's like, if you're telling yourself you're overwhelmed, how about you remove that? How about you remove this for now until you feel comfortable with going about your day-to-day, -day, right? And what I mean by that, so I was doing, you know, working my job, working working as a consultant for, you know, um, in the HR as well, trying to do my business, coaching clients, doing my podcast trying to do weekly newsletter it was a lot and i was like whoa there <laughs> whoa there and i get to a point if i'm doing too much and i get so overwhelmed i'm gonna shut down and i'm not gonna do anything and everything is gonna suffer <laughs> but then i get mad at myself because i'm not doing the things that i really want to do and so i'm here to just tell you to just slow down slow down take a breath and I want you to honestly understand you don't have to be doing all the things at once. And that's where I've gotten, you know, that's where I am now. I know I don't have to do everything all at one time. I don't have to do everything right now, right? So it's like give yourself some room to breathe. Don't pile up things on in, in your to in your day-to-day -day life that's gonna overwhelm you. Like, don't do that. It, especially if your energy behind it is not pure, if your, if your energy behind it is not like, oh, I really feel excited about this, 
it's not gonna come off to the world like that if that makes sense so that's my advice to you just take a breather slow down stop looking at the outside world of what they got going on oh, man niggas girl she doing this she doing that how she doing this oh man i need to do this i need to get on this app i need to be on twitter i need to be on no no <laughs> Go at your pace. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Um, you know, just come to God every morning. Like, God, what you need me to do? Where do you need me to put my focus on? And that's how I want you to start going about your day-to-day. -day. Also, I want us to just start practicing gratitude with where we are right now. And, you know, I had to really just take the time and, like, sit in the present. And I'm like, hmm, a good probably a good three to four years ago where i'm sitting right now is exactly what i prayed for so why is it once we get to that place we're ready for the next thing versus us just sitting in for the present and just thanking god for blessing us and manifesting the life that we are living right now because this is where i wanted to be four or five years and i'm here now <laughs> i'm here so how about be grateful and where you are just take it in take, like we are so quick to once we hit one milestone we do not sit in it and be grateful for it we're ready for the next level and it's like god is like chill <laughs> I, I and this is how god talks to me chill out <laughs> chill out just chill and i'm finally get into that space where i'm like what am i rushing to do why am i rushing like what is it like why do we feel like we have to rush at so much why like it's okay <laughs> it's okay you know spending the time with your friends or you know spending a, spending a day you know with your family doing this doing that it's like we always on this 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 hustle that hustle culture is already toxic in itself right it's like go 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 and i don't i don't believe in that i don't believe in that i believe listening to your body and like i said you know the energy that you give off when it feels like you just you're like just getting stuff out just to get it out there it's like you know people can kind of feel feel that so it's like if your energy is not right behind it if it's not something that you're truly passionate about should it be something that you should be doing right now if that makes sense so yes practice gratitude if you need to get a gratitude journal i have one um that i'll link below it's just called the five minute journal literally takes you two minutes in the morning two minutes two and a half minutes at night just to write three things you're grateful for and how you'll make the next day better or what made today great and it just makes you really focus on the good things versus you looking at that to-do list and like like damn i didn't do four things <laughs> four things on my list and I only had five like you know how that can go and it gives you it puts you in a real crabby mood and guess what you got to move that to-do list to the next day so you know just let's practice gratitude and being in the present also I want to talk about your timing is your timing we have to stop looking at somebody's end goal and our beginning goal right like why are we comparing somebody's life that's you know you may have a mentor that you know has been working at something for 10 plus years and you're on year one and you're looking at her like dang how this gonna how do i get there or my content doesn't look like hers or my clientele doesn't look like hers or i'm not at that 10k month like hers like She's been working at this for 10 plus years. You you are in year one. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to just, and I'm talking to myself as well. Like you have to look at your own journey and people always say, you know, just appreciate your own journey. Appreciate where you are because the learning experiences just comes with the journey, right? And so it's like, if we go through A through Z with that and then we're missing all those other steps, we're not going to learn anything if, if God allowed us to jump from A to automatically. If I if I was at A with one client and then I wanted to hurry up and get to 20 clients and I missed those steps in between and just jump to the 20 clients, I would be so overwhelmed and I wouldn't know what to do. During those steps, you learn so much about yourself. You learn about different processes that you need for your business. You learn about what, what kind of clients that you want to work with. Just, just you learn so much through the process you know what i mean so let's just take our time with our own journey and let's again just let's not rush it 
Also, I really want to hone in on this last topic. I want you to identify your relationship with God, however that may look, however that may look for you. I honestly, truly believe that is the foundation for anything that we want to do, anything that we want to focus on. If our foundation is not right with God, y'all, it's going to be a rough journey. It's going to be such a rough journey. And he wants us to bring everything to him. He wants us to give him all of our fears. He wants us to give him all of our concerns, all of our worries, all of that. He wants us to give it to him. And he wants us to have faith that he will come through with everything that we want in, you know, in our, in our lives. God. So I just want you to really establish that relationship with God, however that may look like for you. Your relationship with him will be totally different from your neighbors, totally different from your sisters, totally different from your moms. Don't look at somebody else's relationship and think it's something wrong, you know, with the relationship that you're establishing. I tell my client, like, no, what, it, what feels right for you is is what's right. It's it's not it's nothing written. Like what 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 feels right for you is what's right. Okay, that's kind of what I want to leave you guys with. I just think that that is fundamental. We have to have the relationship with God. Work on it as best as we can, as much as we can, because I feel like if we do not establish that relationship with Him and not spend any time with Him. Everything else is going to be so much harder when it does not have to be. Doesn't have to be. He's literally, he literally has the blueprint. So just imagine if you could really come into his presence and you can just say, God, Holy Spirit, just guide me to my next step versus us out here just trying to figure it out on our own. We don't want that. We don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. <laughs> so anyway, I, this is a quick video. I really hope this resonated with you. I really felt it on my heart um, to just come come speak with you guys. Um, and I, I really hope that you took some type of gem, some type of nugget out of this conversation today. I hope I won't uh, be gone for long next time. I really appreciate, you know, whoever tunes into this video. Um, and I just... God bless you all. Uh, if you have any questions for me, you can email me directly. If you um, want to know more information about my coaching packages, you can also email me directly. I love you guys so much, so much. And I'm dedicated, y'all. Let me tell you how I'm on my lunch break. You know, and I'm like, let me do a video. I just posted in my spirit. And then I just got my hair done. So, you know, I was like, ain't you cute? <laughs> Not just play. But love you guys so much. I pray that you guys have a, a just a beautiful week. Love you guys. Mwah. All of this love is touching. All of this love is touching. All these bitches and cousins.